everybody. Right, I'm going to do the Christmas rose flower this time. That's the one that I prepared. If you can see, it's just two layers. A little bit of glitter on it, just on the top layer because you don't actually see the bottom layer. But we'll put it on all of it. This time, I'm going to do the pink with the black. Um, Oh, what have I done with it? The Paper Mania sort of black gloss. I have got a pearl with a sticky on the back because we're going to cover that so it's easier to pick up once you put the glue on it and dip it in. And I've got Sparkalicious Disco Ball. So slightly different colours this time. Let's just get rid of some of the have a glitter. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got my large ball tool, turn it over and just run across the bottom of the petal. I'm chasing it across the little board. fancy and then turn it in the other way and I've got some greaseproof paper uh, this is wax paper uh, but out of a cereal box that's all right you can use that and it's just that it, you can't go around very easily when you've got the embossing powder on so it's just easy to use that do it with and what I do I do what Chloe does finger and thumb hold in the middle and that just gives them a bit more of a lift like that and then get some scrap paper going to do the pearl first because it takes a little bit time to dry just cosmic shimmer the normal one and if you haven't got a sticky pearl you can either put some double sided sticky on the back just so you can pinch it to hold it or if you've got a, a double sided foam pad that works well stick one side down and just squinch it, wait till it's dry, you can either peel it off or if you're using silicone you can just literally pop it straight on because it would just stick around the silicone. Right and I'll just hold it, start at the middle, just going round in a circle, just put some glue on it, doesn't matter if you miss some because I will just put a bit more glue on and dip it back in. So I'm just going to do that. It actually looks quite covered as you can see that. Not too bad. So I will leave that as it is and just pop that over there to dry. When we put it on we can give it a little bit of a shape. But swap glues, pin back in and get the really fine one, the art glitter. And this time we're going to put dobs on most of the little black dots, not too close in the middle because this is going to be the one underneath. I didn't uh, glitter the one underneath on the other one that I did, but I will on this one. no point going all the way into the middle because that is not going to be seen at all. So you can either pour it on like I did before or I just get a little, depends what mood I'm in really, so what, what way I'll do it. And sometimes you, you can get some of it back in but it won't all go back in. That's what that looks like. 
Okay. Wait right till it's dry and then you can give it a good swipe with your brush, glitter brush, or give it a good blow. And this one, this is going to be the top layer, so I will go quite quite a long way down with the glitter on this one because this is going to be seen. If you want to, you can hold it with your come up through the middle and hold it. It's quite a big one, so you don't need to hold it too much, but it does stop it flapping around a little bit when you're doing this. as much on as you want really. Depends how glittery you want it. This time we'll do it the other way. Just so I can show you. Okay. And I'll just blow it away. Off the camera. Okay. Just pop them to one side for the minute. Just gonna pour this back in. Get rid of him for the minute. back on, pin rubber, pin back in, that's what we're gonna, it's gonna look like, I think I've used this one, I've had it a long time but I've not used the disco ball, it's quite a pretty one. properly dry before I try and get the excess off especially the top one the bottom one I'm not worried about especially off the top one and get your silicon and that's the top one so silicon in the middle of that one pick it up and this one we're not offsetting it it's going exactly over it big ball tool because it's a big middle and go straight down Matching it up as best you can. You can always give it a little twiddle after. There. Squish it down. And then what I do, I go lift it up a little bit. And I put a little bit of silicon underneath the petal there. a little bit and that just helps it stay up a little bit longer and we know it's all going to come flying out with the tweezers emergency bit of a blockage be okay now just pop a tiniest little bit of silicon I'll show you on the last one I can show you to the camera lift it up pop it at the base and just pop it down and that will just help the petals lift up if you want it flat literally just put it in and don't put any around the edges I'm just going to move that slightly round, see if it's enough to, yeah, it's dry enough, it does dry quite quick, the, the glue, right, that's that, now I'm going to put the middle straight in, I know it's wet, you can always wait for it to dry, but I just want you to show, show you what it looks like when it's finished, now this is going to be it's still quite wet so I'm not going to be able to so middle of the hand 
tweezers, not open but not fully clothed, closed because it'll just wobble. So you just want to make sort of trim lines just to go underneath, pick it up and place it down. You'll get silicon on there probably and then just maneuver it into the middle. And that is the Christmas rose. That's that one. So, next time we're going to be doing filigree flower. Next time, I'll just show you. Just get rid of them ones. So that's that one. We're going to be doing filigree flower next time. Okay, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.